peace in <clears throat> from the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States of uh, Avarice, I guess would be the word to use this time. My uh, video computer downstairs just underwent a metamorphosis, one that I did not choose for it, and uh, in my better judgment would have chosen against. It was the installation of Windows 8.1. The thing came with Windows 8.0. It's uh, my main video production computer because it has... Uh, six cores and can run several heavy-duty programs simultaneously. Uh, really great <clears throat> microprocessor in it. And it kept asking me how long I wanted to wait before I installed Windows 8.1. And I kept putting it off, you know, remind me later, remind me later, remind me later. Well, it finally remound me by forcing itself upon me. Now, I suppose I could have, in retrospect, uh, stopped the process cold by yanking the power plug forcibly, physically, out of the wall or something like that, or out of the uninterruptible power supply, but I didn't. I decided, well, what the heck, you know, they say Windows 8.1 is, is an improvement. Let's just go for it. So I did. It took quite a while, even though I've got a fast connection, it took quite a while to install the thing and ask me a bunch of questions and restart a whole bunch of times, and you know the, you know the drill there. But here's the rub. First thing that happened when the new program was installed is the mouse wouldn't work. Now that's a problem. When, you, when your mouse doesn't work and you've got to rely on the keyboard, uh, for to operate a program that's really designed for touch screen operation, you really got a problem. So what I did was uh, finally figured out a way to reinstall the program. I had to pretty much start all over again. Took me a while though with a keyboard only to find the functions that would execute that desired operation and I did it and lo and behold the mouse did in fact work. So I was able to get going and and start using the programs that I use most often. I had to reinstall them all uh, because it was a fresh operating system just like a computer fresh out of the box pretty much and it, it runs them all and uh, but some of the programs that are less important to me that require some of the ports like line in and microphone and, and uh, special ports like that, they don't, I mean, it looks like they must have different drivers that either didn't get installed correctly, didn't get installed at all, or got installed for uh, the, uh, the wrong computer, the wrong type of computer. I mean, after all, how do they know what type of computer I've got? Well, they seem to know everything else about me, including my blood type. I mean, God only knows. I mean, they, they, these programs, though, sometimes they get just a little bit too smart, I think. Um, and it's not just Microsoft that's guilty of this transgression, in my opinion. I don't want things forced on me. I want to have a choice. If I don't want to upgrade, I don't want to be forced to. And it tempts me to have just one computer connected to the internet and leave all the other ones off <coughs> and uh, let that computer sort of be the one that that'll that'll go up in flames and not all of them if something bad happens like that but the programs that are the most important to me and that I really need the most and use the most do work and did install all right there is one good thing I can say about Windows 8.1 in my experience, and that is that it's a lot faster than Windows 8.0 was. It starts up faster, boots up faster, and it uh, usually allows me to shut down faster. Uh, there's some of the other functions, I don't know if they're really any faster or not. I 
kind of doubt it. So if you have experience with this uh, installation, if it's been forced on you, ha have you had that experience? Uh, when you have installed Windows 8.1, how smoothly did it go for you? Um, I'll sort of let this be a little vlog type of video, if you don't mind. I can't uh, say that I'm going to respond to very many uh, uh, entries here because uh, I've got too busy yammering into this thing making other videos. But uh, And uh, there's a lot of other work I've got to do besides that. But that is my experience. There's some good and some bad about Windows 8.1. But the thing I really didn't like was the way it was forced upon me. I'm not the kind of guy who takes very kindly to having things forced on him. Stan Gibalisco, signing off from the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States of adverse computer behavior. Peace out and the infinitely long spiral of Archimedes long wire antenna and fed with a pale star tuner transmitting to God knows where saying at least to whoever hears it so long. <laughs>